Hey, TGIM, another week to stay away from the coronavirus. Listen, I know a lot of people are concerned about the coronavirus and they're doing all things uh, to prevent you know, the spread of this virus and, and uh, hoard toilet paper and do all, all kinds of things that are uh, maybe a little silly but precautionary at the same time. Uh, you know, Whatever camp you're in as far as uh, how you're feeling about the coronavirus, I just want to encourage you to have hope. Um, you know, my church, we actually did meet this past Sunday and it was incredible, uh, to just be around the church family. And so I want to encourage you today. Listen, I, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christ follower. I put my hope in Jesus Christ. And so, uh, I just want to encourage you guys. I know, um, some people that follow me, uh, may not necessarily be in the camp that I'm in. Um, but for those that are, I just want to encourage you with this one scripture. It's Romans 15, 13. It says, may God, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the holy spirit and and this scripture was on my heart and i I love that this uh just kind of popped up in me uh during this season and time my wife and, and my kids and i we actually had a trip planned to san antonio we we thought about canceling it and uh, we're like you know what it's our kids spring break they worked really hard this spring in school. We're just going to go ahead and go and see what happens, see if anything's open. The zoo was closed. We couldn't do anything like that. But we were like, let's just go. If anything, we'll go swim in a hotel pool because my girls were really excited about that. And so we did. And this morning we went and we had breakfast at IHOP. And I jokingly said as I woke in, walked in, do you all have enough seats for us? There was nobody else there. Uh, maybe one or two families, but every seat was open. And come to find out, the two women that greeted us, was a, it was a daughter and a mother. And the mother gave the table to her daughter and said, here, you take them. As I found out through conversation throughout the rest of, the, of our time there, meeting with the waitress. And, and as we were eating and everything, we could hear the conversations of the waitresses, the staff, and how concerned they were because this was spring break, the first day of spring break, and it was dead. Uh, dead, dead. There was nobody around the streets. There was nobody in the restaurants, hardly anybody there. Um, and so we knew, my wife and I were talking that this season is probably one of, they were looking forward to the season to make money, uh, to, you know, to have lots of income due to the spring break push. But now because of coronavirus, it's actually being shut down. And so we, uh, we, we felt it on our heart to kind of bless them and just say, you know, leave an impression of hope. Kind of do what the scripture says that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And and we wanted to do that. So we gave our waitress a really, really, really nice tip and uh, pretty much doubled what we were paying for the food. And, and the look on her face was just incredible because we heard conversations of, I'm going to go work for DoorDash or uh, I'm going to do this and that while we're on a slow push, like we're going to be able to do Uber Eats. And, and they were figuring out ways to make extra money. And since the mom had given the table to the daughter, uh, I wanted to give the mom a tip too for doing what I would do as a dad, like and just make sure my kids are more better than I am, better off than I am. And so I actually gave her mom a tip too. And you should have seen what this did in even just the other people. They couldn't believe it. As my wife and I, we were walking out, we were able to look through the windows and see the reaction. It was just, it made the best impression on me. And so I want to encourage you that during this time, whether you're waiting in line at your grocery stores to buy toilet paper or the necessities that you need for the week or trying to get medication, trying to quarantine yourself so that you're not, you know, spreading or catching anything um, unknowingly, you know, take all the necessary precautions, but still have the, um, the ability to spread hope wherever you go. Right, the kingdom is is uh, two thirds peace and joy, and that's what we should walk in. One thing that we were talking about at my church was um, that that what the kingdom is. The kingdom is righteousness, peace, and joy, and so that's what we should represent as Christians. And going forward, is that we walk in righteousness, peace, and joy, because as representatives of the kingdom of God, we should walk in those things and spread those things and overflow in hope. So I know this week is probably a little bit different than how you'd planned it a couple weeks ago, but just remember we can walk in righteousness, peace, and joy, and we should be overflowing with hope and spread that everywhere we go, whether in our house or not. Make a phone call, check on your neighbors, text, 
Say, hey, I got some extra rolls of toilet paper. I have some extra ground meat. I've got some extra eggs. Whatever you need, please feel free to come get it. You know, you can spread hope in so many different ways. I hope you have a great week. I'm praying for you. Get in some word. Teach it to your kids. Meditate on these things and know that God has us. Colossians 1.13 is one of my favorites. It says, for he rescued us from the dominion of darkness and pulled us into the kingdom of the, of his, the son that he loves. I love you guys. I hope you have a great week. Stay safe. Wash your hands. I'll talk to you later.